Hey guys, well, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, today I am going to be doing a weekly plan with me in this uh, pocket size chic sparrow outlander. Um, I shot and posted a um, setup video for this just last Thursday, so go ahead and check out that video if you want more info on what is all in here. Um, I am just back into a traveler's notebook for the first time since 2018, um, so I'm still kind of getting used to it again. I've been in rings since then, um, but I'm really loving it, and this cover makes me really happy. And um, I'm doing sort of a more traditional Bujo style for my weeks and days specifically, and so that's where we are right now. Um, this is last week. Before I moved everything into the Traveler's Notebook, I was using in my rings um, Insert 2, I believe it is, from my shop, GangiPlans.com, um, which has... Monday through Friday on one side and the weekend on the other side and so that's why I just sort of copied the same concept over to the weekly I was doing in here. Um, so I think I'm going to do the same thing again for this week, um, this next upcoming week of the 15th through the 21st. Um, let me remember, okay so there was one at the top, one extra row at the top and then one, two, three, four, five rows for each. I'm just going to put a dot do like this. This is the cheaty way. I mean, not cheating, but this is the work smarter, not harder way of counting. And then on this side, it's uneven. Um, so you have to, yeah, I just decided that Saturday was going to be bigger than Sunday. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this goes here, and then I did it down to here, for no particular reason, I don't think, um, I think that just felt right, as far as length goes. Uh, so let's just do... Of this I using dot grid I feel like I do okay <laughs> just uh, what's it called I say this as I'm doing an absolutely terrible job of what, um, what's the word I'm even thinking of not freestyling um, freehand is freehand the term not using a straight edge uh, it's not that difficult to keep your line straight for half of a centimeter, and that's all you have to do at a time, you know? You just connect the dots. But also, you just really got to get a good... See, oh, I didn't have my hand in a good enough spot to be able to get the whole way across. Uh, whatever. I could grab myself a straight edge, but I feel like it would just take longer. Um, and... Like, the lines would be straighter, but they may also be, like, more inconsistent in thickness. So, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really mind them being a little bit janky. Um, and freehanding. The whole thing. So, if you hate it, you hate it. That's fine. I don't mind. You can hate it. You can never do that yourself. Uh has been a while since I've done dot grid at all. Um, it's been a while since I've been in a traveler's notebook. It's been in a while a while since I have hand drawn like boxes and stuff. Like I, I've done um, real bare bones bullet journal style dailies a lot, but that doesn't involve drawing anything. Um, this is definitely bringing me back to the early days. Um, I started bujoing in 2016. It was shortly after I got married, actually, like probably a month after. <clears throat> um, and as I was looking into it, like I just randomly came up on my Facebook. Um, somebody was talking about how they, they use the system and they like shared a video and I don't even remember if it was writer's video or 
if it was somebody else's, but um, that kind of planted a seed and then I ended up looking into it and discovered it and it just seemed it, something clicked for me. Like I really just liked the idea of an index and I had never thought of that before and I was like, oh yeah, okay, that totally makes sense. Um, and I realized that a lot of the, th the methodology and sort of mindset of how to do a bullet journal, it, it was sort of what I was already doing because like I said, I had just gotten married, so I had been planning that wedding and what I had been planning it on was like a um, five by seven legal pad, you know, that flips vertically um, in like a, a cover. And I had like, uh, what was it? I would have like a monthly checklist, like all the things that I need to get done. Cause I, I sort of like researched oh, things you could, should do one month before your wedding, two months, three months, all the way back. Um, and so I split all of the major tasks up and into months. And so I had like a, every month you need to get this done. And then I split it up into weeks. Um, and then I had like, I, that was the, all the pages in the front. And then I would cross things off as I got them done. And then the pages in the back were like project pages. Um, and I would actually, you know, take notes. I was bringing that with me everywhere I went. I would take notes from vendors and blah, 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 and use it for planning all kinds of stuff, you know, guest lists and oh, all of it. Um, and then as I finished things, I would rip out like that month, once I got everything from that month done, I would rip out the page and throw it away. And as soon as I learned about bullet journaling and the concept of, you know, having it all in a bound journal instead of a notepad like that and all this. I was like, man, first of all, I was pretty proud of myself that I had sort of thought of it on my own to a certain extent, uh, pretty excited that I had found ways to optimize that for the future. But also I was like really regretting the fact that I had thrown away all those pages. I'm like, I don't need those anymore. But now I really do like going back and looking at those first weeks and months in that bullet journal as I was playing around with different ideas. You know, there's certain months that I'm uh, more happy with than others. I remember being pretty happy with some of the lettering that I was doing, but I was like very much over the top. Um, and I still look back and like cringe at the uh, <laughs> the period of time and I believe it was November of 2016 where I sort of got into like painting my own stickers. I just used free ones and like cut them out with an exacto knife. Went a little bit overboard and they were not, it, it's just, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I don't like how that looks in retrospect when I go back and flip. But anyway, this, like I said, I'll trip down memory lane. Um, like drawing layouts in a dot grid again. I did not plan for this to be a dot grid. I thought I was ordering a grid grid, but I guess I wasn't paying attention to the listing. Love it though. I mentioned this in um, the flip through video that, or the setup video that I mentioned that I posted last week that this um, notebook that I'm in like actively currently. It's called Zequins with two Z's. Um, Korean, I believe. It said it was handcrafted by Korean artisans. Um, but it's got this like faux suede uh, cover that is just butter soft and I can't get over petting it and it's just so lovely. I'm putting all of these stickers. I'm trying, I'm trying to be very good about tidying up as I go along. Um, as you can see, I have no real color scheme. I'm just sort of like, I did red here, and then I did yellow here. This weekly page is just kind of whatever. Um, and all of these stickers are from this gardening set from Happy Planner. Um, and I may or may not pull out another one of those. Unfortunately, this other sort of more generic set I have doesn't really have a lot of like full box size types or yeah well it's got some 
today, but like, no, it's not today, I'm not traveling, let's see. Weekends, I think this is too, does that fit? It just might, yeah, I think it will, okay. Well, maybe I will just start with that. Throw in a weekend sticker because I like never use these because I was in a pocket rings for years and pocket rings are only three and a quarter inches wide and half an inch of that is taken up by rings and so it doesn't fit this it doesn't fit standard post-it notes but look at this this totally fits See if I can get it to be roughly even. It's tricky. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. All right, after all that squeaking. Look at that. How cute. I had no idea that was going to fit quite so well. All right. Man, if I only had known that all I really needed for you know, to get use out of these Happy Planner stickers was to move back into a pocket traveler's notebook. I probably would have done it sooner. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm looking for more things that are like this size. They fit really well. Um, there's several of those here in this gardening one though, and I am pretty obsessed with my garden. You know, it's still summer. Um, and I can put some things just sort of to fill this space because I'm trying out, I always come back to like trying to not have, um, what's it, a, a weekly to-do list, but then, let's see, oh uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to do, I don't even know if I want it to be entirely garden themed again, like there was some stuff I wanted to get done, so I use some of these check boxes, but I do like this. And I do like that this fits nicely under here. So I'm going to grab one of these like full boxes or whatever they're called. Um, the thorough quote or this one about the succulents. Um, it's not about succulents. Then tend to. Oh yeah, see? Tend to. That's cute. You can use that for anything. Reminder today. Tend to. Sure. See? Cute. Um, I'm going to put this just sort of. Oh, no, wait. It, it, it. Oh, the roundness makes me want to put it lower down. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pull out a few at once and then figure it out. Um, Alright, this one here the succulent pot thing. Um, it's gonna go right there. I've got this and then I also want to put one of these weekly tracker guys. Um, yeah. Just checking daily. And then I also want to use, this is what I did last week. Um, water daily um, because I needed to I'm um sorry I'm like thinking and talking at the same time I was cloning some tomato suckers and so I needed to keep refilling the water um, in the glass where they were rooting and then I was actually you know planting them once they were done already and um, that needed then they needed to be watered as well as they were going in stay real good and moist and I hope I'm not covering the camera with my head I want to get that there we go okay see doesn't that fit nicely that's cute right that's cute all right, uh, I'm gonna again put, uh, okay, I don't know if it's too late to pull this up. I think I want it to be a little bit lower, but if I can't move it, okay, then it's fine. Water daily, and I'll just put it again. Toe, 
my toes. Hopefully by the end of this week they will be established and I won't have to water them every single day, but they're just so small and weak and I definitely don't want them to dry out because it's very hot out this week. All right, I think that's it for the stickers. Well, I could probably put something cute in one of these sections. Ooh, yeah, like these. Right? Okay. Sorry. Not everything was showing. There's some really cute, um, like, translation stickers in the back. And I never know, um, if I want to use them or not. Here we go. Stick this on the side. I always like it to sort of overlap the edge a little bit. This looked like it was intentional. Okay. There we go. Cute. Yes. Cute. Um, this is too pastel and this is too dark, but this also doesn't match, so it doesn't matter. Alright, I'm going to pull out some more stickers. Um, this inspired me. <laughs> Oh, I need this, and let's see, oh, okay. this, I'm just flipping through, I don't know if this is, oh gosh, uh, I, I, I don't talk about this sticker binder very often, or sticker binder very often, I got this from Unikeep, they sent it to me, um, they didn't pay me, they just sent me a free notebook thing or planner um, what's it called they specialize really in like um like card collectible storage stuff like that uh, and oh yeah use one of those two uh, okay wait i think one these handy Alright, I have a thinking, I'm thinking out loud, and I haven't used any of these guys that I got from Comic-Con yet. You know when you get a super cute sticker pack and then you're like, I don't want to use it. Uh, maybe this one would be useful. Um, maybe just kind of, uh, I want to just remember that it's there. I don't really have anywhere handy to put it. I want to um, declutter some of the kids' toys. Sorry, did you see? I was pointing to this one. Um, these are so cute. They're from Be Cute with a, let's see, with a K-Y-O-O-T dot, no, it doesn't say. Oh, yes, dot com. Um, yeah, goals. These will be great in the fall. I feel like I want some cozy days, but I definitely don't want to feel cozy right now. It is too hot. But I say that, it's been a remarkably mild summer, which for us means that it has not gotten above, I don't think like 92 or 93 um, ever all summer, which is, um, yeah, for us, pretty mild. Four years ago, when we brought my daughter back from the hospital, that day was 115 degrees. And um, I am just like thankful, so, so thankful that this particular maternity leave that I just got off of um, was not as hot. Now for one thing, spring baby, and so it does get worse in August, September. Um, and I started working at the beginning of August. So like, yeah, my July isn't as bad, but like, like I said, July 2nd was, or July 4th was that bad. Uh, I'm going to put this little laundry icon on Wednesday because I have to do diaper laundry on Wednesday uh, because I'm in the office. I have to, well, it's carpool. I actually carpool with my mother-in-law, but I have to drive down to the office on Thursday, Friday, but I'm working from home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I have to do the diaper laundry on Wednesday to last us through these days because it's easier to do it while I'm home. Um, what else did I do last time? For errands that were, yeah, <laughs> other diaper laundry. And I'll just put, let's see. 
this little guy is going to go here. It's because it's got a flat bottom. Probably not. Okay, I'm going to put it like just sort of in the middle. We're going to go visit my new niece who was just born last week. Um, and then this guy here is important. What color? What color? Pink, maybe? Um, we have Meet the Teacher Night on Thursday evening. And uh, probably, and something, something. Oh, I was saying that these stickers were like inspiring me to not worry so much about color theme. Um, because yeah, I generally have been very strict in like a color themey thing. And, um, and so I never used these like freebies from Planner Kate and they all come with like, or the big Planner Kate sheets come with like a rainbow washi strip that I've never used. And I probably should now that I'm just kind of doing a whatever, whatever, um, color theme. Let's see. First, how did you do? Call bags, meet the teacher. Oh, yes. Birthday, we have the birthday. Speaking of Planner Kate, I can tell you. Here, rainbow washi strip. Um, and we can do whatever color we want. So I'll use something that we have more of, like blue? Pink? I don't want to use pink for my father-in-law's birthday. Uh, yeah, I'll do blue. birthday goes here and then I think that might be really the only thing um, there's a couple of to do items oh no also my mother's birthday she gets pink her birthday is here on Saturday that's what this box is for which I didn't mention um and these are planner kate. This one's from Twin 16. These two, uh, these are movable. This one's not technically, so it'll be a bit of a mess if these two items get swapped. Especially since it looks like this box wouldn't actually fit in Sunday. It would overflow, which is fine. I kind of dig that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what that's for. And I'm just going to fill in like with pen a couple of things. And this pen was just sticking to my sweaty arm. I mentioned it was hot. And thank goodness, because otherwise it would have clattered and made a big mess all over the video. Okay. So I'll just put here. Dad. And. Mom. Just like that. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not sw switching. Is it? Go. Um, diaper laundry. I hope this fits. Meet the overflowed into the uh, metal part and there's probably some other tasks on here well there were a couple tasks where did I want to put those oh yeah coal bags yeah there's these like charcoal bags that um, I'll just do that here uh, there's supposed to be like air purifiers that you are supposed to like recharge in the sun for an hour once a month and so I put that on my list and then the tend to this week is birthday party planning for the two-year-old she's almost two couple of items here like is it okay to put the thing I just uh, okay so I'm actually filming this Monday evening secret shh, shh, don't tell anybody 
Um, is it okay to put the thing that we already did? Menu. Guest. List. I need to do that. Uh, in. Invites. This is small even for me. I think it's especially tricky because I have to kind of reach farther back onto the desk to film. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and then I already kind of did the brainstorming of activities. We're going to have a Sesame Street themed birthday party. Hopefully it'll be super cute. All right, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, yeah, things are fun when you don't have a color theme. Uh, it could just be every color is your theme. So there we go. Um, I am, let's see, that was the dailies. Like I said, just doing really basic dailies and then keeping a weekly, mostly for the fun of using the stickers and the highlighters and, you know, decorating it and making it fun. I'll put a couple of, like I said, a couple of tasks, but mostly um, I just do a to-do list here and then I have um, to-do lists that are inside this insert back here. Um, and again, all of that is in last week's video, so check that in the corner if you haven't already. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, because I'm going to keep planning in this Traveler's Notebook. I hope you like it. Um, and, you know, if you don't, whatever, that's fine. But I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye!